Hello and welcome to Mr Barton's autograph video number 10. Uh, this week we have a request from Lucius Evans, came through on the emails, uh, wanting to know what autograph could do with statistical analysis. Now there's far too much to cover in just one video, so in this first video we're going to look at handling raw data and then we'll move on to group data over the next few weeks. And remember, keep the request coming in and I'll try and cover whatever you want. Right, so let's do some uh, analysis with raw data. First thing, we have to get into the statistics mode. So if you just hover your mouse up here, you get 1D statistics page. Uh, it looks a bit different, um, and this does all your data handling on Autograph. So the first thing we're going to do is pop some data into Autograph. So if you hover up here, you get enter raw data. Give that a click, and we get this screen on. Now we need some data to pop in here. Now we can type it in by hand, that's not a problem. But if you've got a lot of data, then you might want to uh, pop it in from Excel. And what I've got here, the data I'm going to use, is uh, marks from two different classes uh, test scores. And we're going to use Autograph to compare them. So class A, I'm going to select the whole of the column. I'm going to right click and I'm going to copy. And then if I go back to my Autograph page and I right click and I paste, all the data goes in there. And what's really nice is we even get a bonus little heading of class A. I'll just change the name of this data set to class A as well. I'm not going to do anything else there. I'm just going to click OK. And that's popped in there. Now, whilst we're here, we might as well whiz in class B's data set so we can compare them. So same thing again. Enter raw data. Uh, back to my Excel sheet. The whole of uh, class B, so column C. Uh, right click copy back to autograph right click paste and change this to class b all right we're ready to go so let's have a look at some of the things we can do firstly you if you click you get a little target that um, alternates between class a and class b so i'm on class a and let's have a look at some of the things that are selected we've got a box and whisker diagram a dot plot and we have got a statistics box statistic box is quite nice if you click on that it automatically does all your fancy calculations for your raw data your mean your standard deviation and so on and if you click transfer to results box and then close that down and if you go on to view results box then what you've actually got is some text that you can copy and paste into word or whatever you want to transfer all your results if your students are doing a report which could be quite handy Right, okay, so class A, uh, let's have a look and draw a dot plot. Now, because I haven't got a very large sample, this isn't the best thing uh, you've ever seen in your life, but let's have a look at it. What that does is it shows you for every single mark how many people are in there. So we can see for around about 45, 46, there were three people and so on. Now, we can change the scale to make that a bit neater if we want, but we don't really have time for that, but you know how to do that from the other tutorial on edit axes. Uh, if we highlight class B, we can also do the same dot plot there. I'm just going to change this up spacing to 1. Sometimes Autograph likes to uh, change it to 0.1. Click OK, and there we can compare the two if we want. But it doesn't look brilliant. It's not the best thing, dot plot, when you've got a small data set, but it's very good for large data sets that we'll look at, um, look at in a couple of weeks. Right, if I just uh, click on that dot plot and get rid of it, click on that dot plot and get rid of it, uh, let's do a box and whisker because these look quite nice. So class A is uh, highlighted. Uh, box and whisker, yep, from raw data please. And there it is there. I can move that around wherever I want it to. Highlight class B and again we'll have a box and whisker from raw data. Click OK. And there it is there. And that allows us then to challenge the students to say, well, what does that tell us about class A and class B's score? Um, you can drag these and move them wherever you want. You could also, if you wanted, label uh, a text box. So class A's scores. And I like a nice bit of ice blue here for this. Click OK and we could just label that box pot there and so on. Um, OK, that's just a brief look at some of the things we can do with statistics. Loads more to come in the next few weeks. Take care and see you later.